Welcome to our time control presentation. Today we're talking about managing banks of time using time control. Time control has an extensive number of features that refer to bank time. First of all, you can manage numerous banks at once, such as vacation or sick leave, uh, other kinds of bank time. There are three banks by default. Uh, we manage personal time, sick leave, and vacation time by default, and you can rename or reuse these for other purposes if you prefer. Uh, administrators can use bank time for almost anything, however. It doesn't need to just be for time off. And we can then use these bank time functions in reports, in dashboards, in validation rules, uh, and other purposes. Let's take a look at how we do that. First of all, there are nine banks in every employee record. This determines the total amount of time in the bank for that employee. This is where we figure the total allowance. Then each charge code can be flagged against numerous banks at once. When we put time into the bank in the employee time, that's where we start off with our reservoir. We take time out of the bank by using a charge code that's flagged against that kind of time. And the dashboard ca calculates the differences between the total amount in the employee field and the sum of the hours against that charge code since the beginning of the fiscal year. So if we look at the default dashboard in time control, and there are many dashboards possible in time control, but this would be a default dashboard, we have our three banks of time, and we can see we have the allotted bank that comes out of the employee table. The amount taken thus far for this particular employee, which is uh, no hours against any bank, and then the remaining hours, which is the difference between the first column and the second column. All right, well, let's add a fourth bank and see how that looks. First of all, we go into the employee bank and we rename one of the banks. You can see we have nine. We'll rename a fourth one. We're going to call it a training bank. Let's say we've decided that each employee should do a certain number of hours each year of training. Well, we put that amount of hours into the bank for this employee, for Gail Robinson, uh, and we, she now has a bank of 40 hours that have to be allocated uh, throughout her year. Now in the charge table, we rename the fourth charge flag, and we say this flag is a flag that's for training charges. You can see we can use multiple flags at the same time, but in this case we only need to have this particular, this particular task, which is a training task, uh, be flagged against training bank charges. So every time this charge is used, it will count against that bank. We use the Manage Languages function to be able to rename these fields to whatever it is that we'd like. So in this case, we've renamed them to Training Bank, but you could rename them to virtually anything. You're going to need to change the fields in the Employee table, the one in the Charge table, those are the two we've just seen, and in the Dashboard template uh, to be able to allocate the appropriate value. Here we have the editing of the dashboard. We can see that the fourth line is called training bank now. This is for our bank of time for personal time, sick time, and so on remaining. Well, now there's our bank all ready for Gail. There's the 40 hours that we put in her bank, and we can see that she now has four lines in her dashboard, not, uh, not three, and she's taken no time against this. Well, it would be pretty easy to take time against it, though. We do that in the timesheet. So we now use the training task. That was the one that we flagged against the bank time. And you can see we've put a total of 34 hours against that task for Gail. Uh, she'll release that timesheet for approval. And once it's posted, then that comes straight off the dashboard. There's the total 40 hours uh, allotted, 34 taken, and 6 hours left. And the thresholds can change color based on the definition of your dashboard. In this case, it says when you have less than 25% of your, uh, of your uh, allotted left, uh, change that color to red. You have a range of other options. You could use SQL-based accruals uh, and have, instead of a, a bank of time to start the year, you could add time as people earn it throughout the year and put that amount into the employee table. That could be done on a scheduled basis, perhaps per month or every pay period. Uh, and that can be done through an easily schedulable uh, or, uh, or triggerable uh, accrual method. You can also use the time control validation rules and make a business rule that might say you're not allowed to take vacation time unless you have time left in the bank or you're not allowed to vac take vacation time unless you have, um, you have uh, no more than uh, a week's deficit. So you can make whatever rule would be appropriate for you uh, to look at both the bank time and the, uh, and the amount of time that someone is trying to charge. 
Uh, and then there's a range of reports that are included with time control or that you could create that would reference either the total bank or the amount remaining uh, to be able to make variance reports or reports of perhaps the total liability of time off left, uh, left remaining. If you'd like more information about time control, please stop by the timecontrol.com website. Uh, if you'd like to find out about our hosted time control online, then go to timecontrol.net. Uh, we'll be happy to show you around time control online there. And you can try time control for free on our hosted trial at freetrial.timecontrol.com. And as always, we look forward to answering your questions. Just send us an email at info at hmssoftware.ca. Thanks for your time.